first let's look at radicals um, and rational exponents. Okay, let's talk about what the difference is. Okay, a radical looks like this where you've got a square root symbol or a cube root symbol. And then a rational exponent is when you have a fraction as your exponent. And you can actually switch between these two forms very easily. Where at, in radical form, we've got a root on the left side, and then we're raising to a power on the right side. Well, if we change this form from a radical to a rational, what we do is the root becomes the denominator, and the power, the exponent, is our numerator. So this is our exponent, or our, which is our numerator of a fraction, and the denominator is actually the root, whether it's a square root or cube root. So let's practice kind of switching these two forms back and forth. Whoops, let's go in the right direction here. Okay, so x to the 1 half, this becomes the root, so that becomes the square root of x. Okay, this one is the q, um, two, x to the 2 thirds, where the 3 comes around, it becomes the root, so we have the cube root of x quantity squared. So again, this is your exponent or your power, and this is the root. So you can kind of see those. Okay? So let's kind of practice these. Okay? These are written as in radical form. We want to change them to rationals or fractions. So 5 remains our base, 3 is the denominator, and 4 is the numerator. So we get 4 thirds. So that rewrites as 5 to the 4 thirds. Now the second one, it, well, our base is still 10. Now we don't have a root over here, but we know if it's just written, we assume to be a square root. So I'm going to write a 2 there just for now. Whoops. And that then becomes the denominator. So this is written as 10 to the 3 halves. Um, let's, now let's practice uh, rewriting these. Uh, these are in radical, uh, ras radicals, and we want to write them as rationals. So negative 5 quantity, because it's being read, the negative 5 is under the radical, to the 7 thirds. So be careful with that negative. And then this would be a 6 to the 9 halves. So there are a couple more just to practice. And now let's rewrite them the opposite direction. So now we have these written in fractional form or rational form, and we want to rewrite them as a radical. So this is going to become, write your uh, root, whatever root it is. We have 9 underneath. We know that this becomes the root, so it's a square root, but we don't need to write the square all to the fifth power. And then this next one is the variable x. So that's our base. Our root, it comes over and it is the cube root of x, all quantity to the first. So I don't need to write that quantity. You don't have to write it all raised to the first power because we assume it's to the first. So you can just leave that one as the cube root of x. Okay? So let's look at this next one. Here are a couple more to practice. Okay? This becomes the cube root of negative 31 quantity to the fifth power. And this next one is uh, 16, negative 16 to the seventh power. Now that one's kind of tricky because, um, I'm sorry, that negative though is not on the inside. It's actually on the outside. So you're going to have a negative 16, square root of 16, all to the seventh power because that negative is not in the parentheses the way it is there. And plus, when you're taking the square root of a negative number, you get imaginary numbers. This one would have had no solution had it been under the radical. There we go. Okay. And let's see. And that's the end of this section, which is just teaching you how to move from radical form to rational form, rat rational form back to radical form with exponents. Hope this video was helpful.